Hello again, my name is Ben. Here I'm today with another mock showcase. Serving so this time is, well, it's not really a mock showcase, so I mean, kinda, but it's actually more of an alternate build of the 2013 501st ATRT. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's not a set that I really like. I mean, it's a good set for the 501st Trooper and has some decent minifigures and a good price. But as an ATRT, I'm not fond of it. It's overscaled, it's too large, and it just, it, it gives a lot more detail, but it just, it's not a size accurate, and I don't really like it for that. But that's whatever. But, you know, here it is. I have it compared to the actual set here. This is just my smaller version, using all the parts from the original set. Uh, and also, type the personal Lemonade figure. Here you go. Uh, yeah, I can tell the set version is way larger than it needs to be. And compared to my version, it's still a little too big, I'm pretty sure. I don't believe this is size accurate, but it's closer than the, this one in a lot of ways, so... I'm quite fond of it for that. It's also slight, large, slightly larger than the actual mock that I built. Without it, but you know, construction here. Really not too much to go over, it's fairly small. Uh, base here is using some 2x4 plates. Built on top, one of 2x3 here. And just some ratchet joints for the feet. And just some basic slopes in dark gray here. So, nothing much there. Not much for detail. Just keeps it stable. And not falling over. The lower legs here, using some of these like one by four bricks with the ratchets on each side. And on the tops, you'll see these one by two bricks with the one by four on the side of them, so I can put them on the sides. You see some dishes there and a grill. Upper legs, using one of the one by two bricks with the ratchet on it. And on the back, you'll see one of these uh, one by two plates with like a one by four. The dish on top. And it's attached with some clips to the base, which has just some of these one by two twos with the uh, bars. They're just the same on each side, just mirrored for the legs. So you know, not to say there. The body here, it's built or just over the waist. Nothing much there. Some one by some, just some plates on the side. Just see some more dishes. Starts out a little loose, so they might come off a couple times. And the bar, the body here. See a one by, two by four brick in blue. The seat here, it is the same sort of build of how they did the antenna, but it's a little shorter. Uh, over here, see the main cannon, using some of the same parts. I just uh, used a, the antenna here, which was here. Just use it for the gun to make it shorter. I used one of the flaps here for the front covering with the sticker on it, which still looks pretty decent. Uh, and the side paneling here, still on some hinges. So you got the 501st sticker on each side. No control panels in here, nothing really else in there. Hold his gun right there. And yeah, it's really not much else to say about it. Uh, kind of basic. I did take some inspiration from uh, people uh, just like trying to make a smaller version of like the 501st Battle Pack. They tried making smaller versions of the ATRT, which I like those quite a bit. And I don't have that set yet, so I figured uh, maybe I could do it with the set version, which is what I did. And I think it came out pretty decently. I think it still looks good and just more size accurate for probably like mocks or something. I might turn this one into like an actual, the same one as this, if I ever do. And one other thing to mention is there's the spare parts, nothing much to really say about them. And there's quite a bit left over from the set. Uh, I don't really think I need anything for like stability or anything because I think it still comes out pretty well. But as you can see there's still quite a lot left over, but I think it still looks good. I might improve on it some, in some ways, maybe with like just additional parts not from the set. But all this is from the set. Will I make instructions? Maybe, maybe not. If there's demand, then I probably will. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're looking forward to next time where I build whatever and show whatever. I don't really have any plans right now. But until then, see you guys next time. With all that being said, goodbye.